How's it going guys? It's PalD2 with a new video that's long overdue. Today, we're going to find out what it takes to turn an old computer into a gaming PC. Here we have an old HP Pavilion desktop that makes use of the ancient LGA775 platform. The system would have originally shipped with a dual-core Pentium E5400, clocked at 2.6GHz, 6GB of RAM, although I received it in the configuration of 4 1GB sticks, a 640GB hard drive, and Intel GMA3100 graphics. While I would have liked to test out the abysmal Intel GMA graphics, I couldn't get them to work with Windows 10 at all. So I threw in an NVIDIA GeForce 7300LE, an OEM graphics card commonly found in old Dells, with similar performance to the aforementioned Intel GMA graphics. Running Cinebench, the old Pentium scored a measly 113 CB. With the HP in a reasonably stock configuration, watching YouTube was unpleasant and trying to play games was a drag. I was crazy enough to try and play Fortnite, but the Epic Launcher wouldn't display anything. <sighs> Legacy drivers, they were probably the culprit for this issue. It was time for some upgrades. This time, I switched out the Pentium with a $15 Core 2 Quad Q6600. Here, I made sure to take advantage of a simple mod known as the V-Cell mod. In order to perform this mod, all you need is electrical tape. After purchasing a roll of electrical tape for an additional dollar, I applied two small pieces of tape to the processor, overclocking the chip from 2.4 GHz to 3 GHz. Along with the new processor, I changed out the RAM for four used 2 GB sticks of DDR2 RAM that I bought from a local computer repair shop for $20. To seal the deal, I switched out the GeForce 7300 LE for a GTX 750 Ti. This card can commonly be found used from $70 to $100, however, I would recommend buying a new GT1030 instead, as it can be found at the same price and have nearly identical performance. With the upgrades done to the system, what type of performance can we expect? Well, to start things off, the Q6600 at 3GHz received a Cinebench score of 299 CB, nearly three times the score of the Pentium. YouTube played 1080p 60fps video without a sweat, and gaming was a breeze. Fortnite at 1080p medium settings gave us an average of 67fps and a minimum of 36. I had quite a fun time, and I was even able to get a few frags. CSGO at 1080p max, aside from anti-stereo optics set to 4x and anti-aliasing off, this PC was able to hold an average of 87 FPS, with a minimum of 53. Finally, Overwatch was able to run at 1080p low to achieve an average of 73 FPS and a minimum of 41. During this test, I played as a character Farah to create a more taxing real case scenario the system was able to keep up. In conclusion, if you're looking to get into PC gaming and you own an old desktop, upgrading it might not be too bad of a choice. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, a like would be appreciated, and I would like to post more regularly to this channel, but I don't have topics to film about too often. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.